this week on Engage the Sage. Hi everyone, I'm Don Saucier. Welcome to this week's episode of Engage the Sage. In our next few videos, I'm going to be talking about empathetic course design. Empathetic course design is the process by which we infuse empathy in our courses to make the experiences more positive and more successful, both for the students taking the course, but also for the teachers teaching the course. When we teach, our personas and our perspectives matter, and they impact the success of our course. They impact the experiences we have as teachers, they impact the experiences our students have as students, and they impact how much our students learn. In this video, I'm going to talk about the overarching perspective that's going to allow us to infuse empathy in our courses. In future videos, I'm going to talk about specific ways that we can infuse empathy into our course structure, our course scheduling, our course policies, our course assignments, and how we can be there for our students. Empathy is the ability and willingness to take on the perspective of other people. Taking on their cognitive perspective, thinking what they're thinking is called perspective taking. Taking on their emotions, taking on the feeling that they're feeling, that's called empathic concern. And I think taking the cognitive and the emotional perspectives of our students are going to make us more successful in teaching them. If we take an empathetic perspective, I think we can improve the experiences for us and our students. And by infusing empathy in all components of our courses, what we're going to do is proactively remove, at least reduce, some of those barriers that our students might be facing in our courses that could prevent them from learning. Our goal in teaching is to promote the learning and the success of our students. And I think an empathetic course design perspective is going to help us accomplish that goal. It's important that we understand the success of our classes starts with us. Our whole idea of trickle-down engagement says that the instructor's experience trickles down to the students and helps or hinders their success. So I think we need to think about the personas and the perspectives that we adopt in our classes to help improve our students' experiences and their learning. If we are engaged in our classes, our students are going to be more engaged and our students are going to learn better. This is what we think and this is what our data show. This is called trickle down engagement. This is the entire inspiration for Engage the Sage. So if you've seen our other videos, you're familiar with this. And I think that these perspectives are really important that we are intentional about in creating better experiences for our students. If you've seen some of our other videos, you've heard me talk about the teaching persona and the importance that we bring peace to our students. And you may remember that peace is an acronym. We should bring preparation, we should bring expertise, authenticity, caring, and engagement to support our students' learning. Now what we're doing is we're using empathy as a special case of caring in our discussion of the empathetic course design perspective. Empathy is one of the ways that we show our students that we care about them and we care about their learning. If we want to design our courses in empathetic ways, if we want to employ empathetic course design, there's an overarching perspective that I think we should be adhering to. And what I'm going to talk about now are some of the things that we believe if we're adopting an empathetic course design perspective. Believing in an empathetic course design perspective means that we care about our experience and the experience of our students and our classes. It means we value us and our students. It means that we understand that subjective experiences in our classes matter. It means that we believe that empathy is more important than rigor. Now, this doesn't mean that rigor is not important. I'm going to talk about my thoughts on rigor in a future video. But it means that if they are racing, then empathy wins by a nose. It means that we know that flexibility is important in supporting our students' learning and their success. It means that we provide grace and guidance to our students throughout our class. It means that we will use inclusive teaching practices to support our students' learning. It means that we will identify and remove barriers to our students' learning. It means that in the design of our course, we will take into account the context in which our students are learning and the context in which we are teaching. It means that we will make the expectations for our students clear and the expectations for ourselves clear. It means that we will make the practices explicit for why we're doing the things in our class, why we're adopting the teaching practices that we are, both to ourselves and to our students. It means that we will provide fair and reasonable ways for our students to demonstrate their learning 
in our classes. It means that we will seek and use feedback from our students to improve our classes and the experiences that they provide. If we believe these things, if we adopt this empathetic course design perspective, what it means is that we'll be infusing empathy into all components of our classes, the course scheduling, the course policies, the course structure, the assignments, the assessments, and how we're there for our students. And when we do this, I think we'll have a more enjoyable experience ourselves and a more reasonable experience for ourselves, but we'll also be providing a more subjectively positive experience for our students in which they can learn more successfully. Now, in future videos, I'm going to provide specific recommendations about how to infuse empathy into all those components of your classes. But for now, what I hope you've heard is that it's important that we consider adopting an empathetic course design perspective. I think when you infuse empathy in your courses, those courses are going to be much more successful for you and for your students. So tune in next time when we tell you about how to do this specifically in lots of ways in your classes. In the comments below, I would love to hear how you're going to infuse empathy into your courses in all the ways. And I'd also love to hear any questions you have about how to infuse empathy into various components of your classes. Thank you for watching this episode of Engage the Sage. Please like, subscribe, sign up for notifications, and share us on social media. And we'll see you next time on Engage the Sage.